So I recently decided to take my business more seriously and I started this Threads account. I've started to post here a few posts. Obviously they didn't get much attention because this is pretty new account. But then I posted this meme, which uh, basically just a meme. I asked AI to create something and it did generate something like this. And yeah, and I just jokingly said AI replaced designers, which obviously it didn't because it's just a picture basically. So you cannot do a lot of stuff with it if you're not familiar with the industry and how you can use that image. But a lot of people st starting to leave negative reviews, which doesn't really affect me. But like they're saying that they're getting results like these. And if you're not, if you don't know how to do it properly, then obviously you will get something like this. But basically in this video, I will show you how can you generate results that look more like this with this beautiful gradients, beautiful uh, designs that doesn't look like something like a banner or a poster. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be using Nano Banana, which is not actually that old. So there is a lot of opportunities in creating businesses around it because this is pretty new tool and you can build freelance business you can build SaaS tool, anything with this using AI. And uh, in this video, I, I will explain to you how you can start earning money with it, how you can start reaching out to clients and how you can just do this on autopilot because it's not difficult at all. You can automate this using Lovable and I'm going to explain all of that. But first step is actually you need to choose a niche. So choosing a niche is very important stuff here before we're getting into the design because you want to find a underserved niche niche that doesn't have a lot of uh, freelancer and designers in it so something that would actually also need need design for me i think it's SaaS. i've been actually working with SaaS companies for a long time with tech startups so i've, I've been posting this on youtube on twitter and i know this industry pretty well so that's what i'm going to be using as and then the second step is find reference images so i'm going to go to craft work design whatever or uh, land book a site that works uh, with your industry so if you're building something for a real estate company let's say you would go to dribble and and type real estate and you need to find three images that are a uh, good reference so yeah that's just it you just need to find three images and something that you think is beautiful something minimalistic could also work something with images could also work Basically, the way that AI works, it will only provide the results as good as you feed it to. Like, AI would never create something original. ChatGPT never will write something that you want or that you don't already mentioned. So sometimes I'd be like writing, give me some unique ideas and stuff like that. But <clears throat> it, it can never create something unique because it uses just a one word after one, another word transformation and stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just finding three good references that I like. And yeah, so these are the two. And I think something minimalistic could also work. Uh, I'm going to scroll something maybe like this cur cursor for designers. Let's take this one as well. I'm going to screenshot three of these. And now I'm going to open Nano Banana, And I'm going to say a prompt. So the prompt would be, Based on these references, images generate a hero section for my web design agency. Very minimalistic, basically, depending on your industry, you would say that instead of web design agency, you would include your um, website's name, you would include our client's website's name, and stuff like that. And now I can just, uh, so the prompt would be, let's just get rid of that. Based on these references, images generate references images generate a hero section for my web design agency and let's just send and in the past i tried doing this with chat gpt and i also got the results similar to the ones that are in the comments and chat gpt takes a long time to generate something so if you wanted to automate that or create a separate business like a lovable SaaS website that generates hero sections based on stuff like that and you would not be able to do that because not a lot of people are willing to wait like three minutes to do that. So these are the results that we've got, just the first draft. Obviously, it's not the best, but like if you find some specific examples. But now let's say mock it up into a laptop MacBook. But obviously, if you're trying to find more examples that looks more something similar that your clients need, and then include client's logo and stuff like that, so it updates everything in there. Um, it could be much more faster and then you can just 
send it to the client, send it into the DM. Hey, I redesigned your website. Uh, let me know. You can create two options and you can ask them, like, let me know which option do you prefer. And I can create a whole website and then you can get them on a call and actually then build that design into Framer or Webflow or whatever you're building. So this is the first step. The second step is actually automating this. And I'm going to be showing you how to create an actual SaaS to make this happen, to work it for you. So you can build stuff like this. So you can create like an app that will create anything like maybe you generate a social media post or stuff like that based on the references. And you can do a lot of stuff with this. So I'm going to go to Lovable, which is AI no code builder, and I'm going to prompt it very simple thing. Um, create a simple app with a beautiful, minimalistic, futuristic design, which will have the ability to, uh, which will have input for business name and multiform input for business description. And then it also will have the um, reference image upload button where I can upload images and references. And let's review our prompt. The output should be a image that AI will generate. And for generation, I will use Nano Banana API. You can find that and you can integrate that. Also on the back end, I want you to leave space for the images that will be coded into prompt. Basically, with every prompt that user sends, there will be specific reference images that are already packed into the, the prompt that will be sent to uh, AI. Come up with a way to send those images, but I will send you the images right now, basically. So yeah, and here you would basically paste all of the reference images that you want AI to create. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to paste that here as well. The output should be an image that AI will generate. And let's just add the images, capture history. And we're going to upload all of the three images. And one more thing that I can add is for it to actually build it in the dark mode. So I'm going to say, build the design in, uh, build the our, our app in dark mode, use uh, per black color and also use 12th grid column. So this is just a small guidance on the design of our app. You wanna include that just for fun of it. And I'm gonna put it at the back in dark mode per black color and also 12 grid columns. So let's just send it and see what would be the first result. So we can just allow this, whatever they asking. And by the way, if you want access to all of my, like the best prompts that I'm building this app, specifically this one and others, there will be a link down in the description for free prompts together with the article on how you can actually make this app. For now, I'm just going to click approve and wait for the result. So this is the first result that we've got. And yeah, let's try to see how it works. Obviously, I'm not sure we're going to make it from the first time, but let's say we're going to say AI video add. And the description will be AI video editing and your solution are AI video editing app. So just a random comments. We're going to skip that for the references. Let's just upload one image uh, capture history. Let's do something like this. Doesn't really matter. We're just going to test the thing. And now we're going to miss information. Okay. Uh, entrepreneurs. I'm not sure if I spelled that correctly, but let's click on generate and see if it uses those images that we attached in the first place or not. So it will take a few seconds to load up. Not as long as chat GPT, but I'll unpause it once, once it does. Uh, let me just... So for some reason, let's ask AI what it, because we don't need this size. As you can see, we don't really need square. The result should be a full HD 16 by nine thing. Use 16 by nine, oops, 16 by nine resolution for output. We need your section not a square this 
So now let's just send it and see what it actually comes up with. And here's the thing. I think that was the issue just with our thing. But let's try another version. So let's try something different. We're going with, uh, let's say, something like this. And then we're going to say web design, web design agency. Agency, web design agency, web design agency, businessman. And reference images. Oops. Okay, two reference images is okay. And let's see what it generates. And here's the result that we've got. As you can see, it doesn't look bad. We'll need just uh, download us button. And yeah, so just like this, you can create beautiful design. Obviously, if you can add prompts like this. Um, and if you like this video, then if you can go to threads.com, find my account and leave some positive feedback, that would be really good since I'm trying to learn to grow this account and a lot of negative feedback. I don't know how it will impact this. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching.